the sort of devastation and havoc it was wreaking across first Jamaica and then the eastern tip of Cuba. It really was a, a very powerful storm when it slammed into the country here. I think uh, what's very clear is that uh, up until this point, we were only talking about one or two deaths. Um, and now suddenly that jumped to 11 in Cuba when the authorities came out and spoke about a lot of people being killed in uh, Santiago de Cuba, one of the, the main provinces in the east, and also in Haiti, where obviously the infrastructure has never really recovered from that massive earthquake in 2010. Did this catch the authorities out there, Will? I think to an extent it might have done, you know, it, it kind of, it, it, it developed very quickly and became very powerful very quickly. So although there was a long time in which uh, the authorities were, were warning for about 24 hours, saying people they needed to, to batten down the hatches and get ready and brace themselves, uh, that there has been this loss of life in Cuba is, is obviously very serious. And I think the authorities will be looking at how that's happened. Um, there was a case of a four-year-old baby boy who was part of a group of four who were killed when their home collapsed and, and things like that are obviously avoidable and it is very very tragic that you know these people in in, in this rural part of the country uh, were in, were caught uh, in these conditions so yes I think there will be an examination of, of exactly what the response was that said the government here were very quick to say they took all the precautions that, that were necessary all the correct precautions does this mean, Will, that areas of Cuba, in effect, are no-go areas because the damage has been so severe? I think there are certainly parts where the flooding is so bad that they're extremely difficult to reach. So there are the power lines down, the transport links to those parts of Cuba are very, very difficult. Um, uh, obviously, the, the, the authorities are out in force trying to get uh, people back to their homes, those who can get back. But there's still tens of thousands of people who can't get back to their homes at this stage. So, yes, it is a very, very difficult situation in those parts near Guantanamo Bay, near the U.S. naval base, uh, where the situation still has a long way to go. And as you quite rightly pointed out, this storm still has a lot of power left in it as it more moves uh, up through the, the Bahamas and onto the uh, U.S. coastline.